What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the return of having a tabletop setup. That was totally smooth, I bet. In the future, I'm probably going to put a monitor up here, be able to have past format duels, Edison, go get around to something you might not see as often, like 2004 Chaos, Troop Dupe Scoop. But with that, you need some playmats, accessories, and Dank Ritual has sent me in some product. Now, this is a paid review, but I'm going to give my honest thoughts. In fact, when I first started working with them in order to even get this going i asked them for an example of their product and they sent me a deck box and it was top notch quality now i looked at their prices at first and i was like that's a little bit higher than the competition but they're going a direction that isn't just copy paste gym accessories deck boxes like so many companies are they have their own textures colors artworks and go a different direction and feel with it and it does feel pretty premium you can order on their website and they're also working with retail partners i think you can find those on their website as well so let's go ahead and get into this i believe actually after praising their deck box so much too them they didn't even send me one in this package i believe this is uh upcoming playmat uh backpack and sleeves if i'm not mistaken with a little extra something something for giveaways so that'll be exciting and the theme is ai with the playmat it is not ai made it's like cyber technic future kind of thing it is not an AI artist, they hired an artist, they did all that. So I do have an extra of those to give away in here, I know. Here are their sleeves and plenty of them. So it looks like there might be two different ones. I see silver and, okay, standard and mini mat. So standard might be for the bigger cards. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! duelist, so we'll be opening up the mini mat sleeves. And travel bag, and it is in a nice box. I'm not used to a backpack coming in a box okay that's kind of interesting of course unedited raw reactions to everything i always put my audience first you guys come before any sponsor or company i will be telling them my honest thoughts as well so the start we'd have foil dank ritual travel bag also in foil and nice little shimmy here to get to it how big can the backpack be if it's in here now, gaming theme backpacks, there's not a ton of ton of companies into it. I hear people go like, oh, you can go to this website and get a camera bag and do that. Well, not everyone's going to want the camera bag, and a lot of those are super cheap. They tear apart. Let's see how this feels. And the outside is, I'm not sure, it's probably not real leather, but it has this interesting different texture here. Going into here, there are two different things. You have that little skull. You're identified as a gamer, of course. So people will know that you got some serious business in here for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let's go ahead and see this. Makes it so your backpack can get wider, it looks like. That's pretty neat. So that you can tighten it as well if you need to, but also get some extra space. That's good. So yeah, that's exactly what that's for. And then it looks like you can make that wider as well. Okay. So it looks like we have a charging port down here. And hopefully I don't miss anything. I did not get like clip notes from them on this. I'm going kind of blind. So it looks like we have an extra slot back here for a binder or a laptop. Multi-use. Uh, a lot of the gaming backpacks do it to where you can convert it into everyday use. So you're not just buying one dedicated for locals. I do respect that. And then this one goes uh, to give you a little extra space, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. It is a little hot in here, by the way. We are in Texas. We have the crazy weather going. So, it looks like that one goes around there, and this one zips from the bottom. How interesting, because a lot of people will reach into bags, right? So having a zipper from the bottom, interesting. Okay, and it comes all the way to there. So you got to unclasp this, mayhaps. Hmm, at least I perceive that to be the bottom. Interesting, so you're able to keep it away. Oh, it opens like this? That makes so much more sense. Okay, the bra moment, right? When it comes to this, it looks like we have the ability to have this behind mesh so somebody can't just reach up and in or fall over the place when you open it. You have other compartments here, pen, paper, stuff for keeping life points. All right, so you have an 
opening from there. And of course, you could probably keep those from the top instead of keeping them dedicated to the bottom, right? So that it, it, it doesn't open necessarily that way. That's just how it came sealed. Okay, okay. That makes plenty of sense. Overall, so far, I like the feel to it. I like that you have the different compartments. I like that it gets wider so the deck box isn't going to be a problem. Because, like, at first it feels pretty thin, but it's going to be able to get plenty wide and thick here. Like, I'm actually just pulling it. I, I'm always going to do this. So, it looks like it's able to handle that load. Doesn't look like it's going to, you know, really have too much trouble with that. The back is padded. Okay, you have this line through it. That's the only thing I might imagine is that over time might bear into your back, but what is this for? Oh, I guess it's just to keep it actually from doing that. Okay, so all that too. And then you have the reach around thing where you can make sure, uh, yeah, that, that it's going to stay clasped. All right, so overall, I do like the backpack. I think that it suits its purpose very well, and it feels premium. It doesn't feel cheap. The materials feel pretty good. It's not exactly what I expected overall, like opening it from the bottom that way, and then, yeah, you can keep it at the top. But I do also like that for game nights, like, you can just open it up that way. Or for trades. That does make sense. Let's get into the playmat. This is what I'm super excited about. Their AI playmat here is the design. Oh, that does feel amazing. They don't really overhype themselves. They have a stitched border here. The back is a bit more burlappy, not in a bad way, like tight together. Like, I'm not too worried about that. The front feels almost like a mix of the OG Spellground V1s and V2s, if I'm honest. Like, there's very little movement on the top here, where with other mat companies, there's a lot of movement. And <laughs> I actually don't have sleeved up cards, so we're going to use theirs. Let's go ahead and get the design up on here. Hopefully, I've been pretty, pretty centered. Yeah, so this is kind of the AI feel. It reminds me of artifacts, personally, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! But let's grab some uh, random bulk cards from openings and sleeve up and also test their sleeves at the same time now to in-depth test their sleeves i would have to be doing rounds and rounds of past formats which i do intend to do here we have matt now people are going to have different preferences right between matt and like having glossy and having different kinds of sleeves so that's up to preference i'm looking for the feel the toughness that sort of thing so i'm going to just see how much effort it does take to split one not the hardest, but not the easiest. All right. So let's go ahead and get a good amount up here. And w what I was going to do is say do a drag test on the mat. And I actually have a Konami and an old uh, V2 Spellground over here to show kind of how a drag test works when it comes to a playmat. But essentially you're looking to drag the sleeve along and see if it catches anywhere on the artwork. The artwork seems to be burned into the mat not really raised much at all versus the printing. So I, I think it's going to pass any drag test with flying colors. I think we don't even have to worry about that to any specific degree. I, I'm pretty sure they're good on that. So what I'm more interested in is the sleeves. Also, again, they've given me a second playmat to give away to y'all. I'll probably do that in an upcoming Market Watch and shout them out again to let people know when the release is. I don't know on the top of my head. I probably should know that while doing this, right? But we will be shouting it out in a future video to make up for that as well as... Uh, I, I feel like getting their actual release date product page all that in front of you as well would be fair by them and when they're doing a page review but let's go ahead and get just a few more shuffle up do some hands uh place things around see how uh the sleeve slide and the playmat also reacts with the sleeves and then also test the sleeves also on some other playmats and not just theirs because sleeves are a lot more important that's your tournament life that's like you're really relying on it first thing i do notice is the grip is pretty nice I want to see if I, like, shake it if the cards move out. That's my problem with old-school, really tight dragon sleeves is the cards will poke out the tops whenever you, like, do this for a while. Let's go reverse even. Uh, they're not really moving in the sleeve, as you can see, actually, to a great degree. They're staying right in place. They're looking really good. The sleeves are pretty tough here. How do they shuffle? It's not a full deck or anything like that. I'm trying to be timely. Uh, these are pretty good. Everything shuffled. These are really good. Okay. 
Uh, that's, that's better than I expected, especially, I don't know that they've done sleeves before, but I really, really like these. Like, they're not going to give me a promo code. They're not going to necessarily even sponsor me again in the future. Like, I, I don't know the future work or what traffic I'll bring them or how they'll assess how this review did. These are good sleeves so far. Now, they are a different texture. I'm wondering uh, how much effort it will take for them to end up getting marked throughout time. Like, I don't have a longevity test for you today. I really like how these feel. Uh, how do they go on the playmat? Pretty easy. Pretty good. Yeah. I am liking this quite a bit. Both the mat. The mat, again, it, it the texture feels very, very right for a cloth play mat. The back, again, you're not going to think about as much of the back. You're wanting the plushness and the top and the stability. The back, it, this is a metal steel desk. It's going to slide no matter what. The back is probably to grip a little more at a tournament setting. Most people are going to fold their two-player mat anyways, though, unless, you know, you're just playing with friends. But, yeah, this is, I'm, I am definitely liking that overall. I think it's pretty good. I think this is one that you don't have to keep in your bag that you can fold up, crumple up, do that over time. All right, so again, it's not going to catch on anything it's feeling like. Not at all. There's nothing it can catch on besides the border, maybe. And that would be you having to go pretty much off the mat to begin with to catch on anything. The mat, thumbs up in material. Thumbs up, definitely. I, I think the design's also pretty neat. Like, it doesn't evoke anything but artifacts for me, so that's gonna be... I'm gonna scythe lock, depending on how you feel. It's artifact ignition, which is also AI. I don't know if that's what they went for. But seriously, uh, <laughs> I do think I like this quite a bit in terms of material, and I look forward to future designs on this from the company. The sleeves, top-notch. A plus so far. I don't have longevity for you, how they'd hold up for a tournament for me, but out of the rip, these feel so solid. My cards aren't moving around in them too much. You can see they're all about. There's one. There's one that's come up just a hair. Or it might have been how I had it. But overall, the cards aren't sliding around in them. It's not my problem that I had like. Uh, I do need to test Modern Dragon's uh, Shield, to be fair. Uh, a lot of people say they've gotten so much better, but it's also divisive, as I see in the Facebook groups and Twitter. But basically, Dragon Shield always felt a little bit too tight for me, and the cards would poke back out in the day. Everybody's told me that problem's over, and they, like, swear by them. These, I think, would be some of my go-to in a tournament setting if the texture was there. That being said, let me know what you think about Dank Ritual's designs. Uh, I would go through and look at some of their past deck boxes. That's what blew me away. Their backpack, I'm going to say for me, it's probably a B plus so far. I know that when we're talking competitors like Jim, they've evolved over time in order to like perfect their gaming backpacks. And I believe this is one of their first. I feel like it has a lot going for it that's different though, like that ability to open up and it has a very different kind of premium feel. It's almost more like a laptop gamer though than a card gamer to me, uh, but it also is probably a better day-to-day -day backpack than having to rip out pieces, put them back in, wear them down over time. That's nothing that's going to be happening for them. So again, for your purposes, that may be much better. The sleeves... A plus the playmat A plus very very nice I think that these will be very tough sleeves and I think that's part of what the back is for like it has this texture on it and I'm going to try to show focus get the lighting it's got this almost like like I, I don't know how to describe it I mean they're matte sleeves right but it's different than other matte sleeves than I've had before it's like this this thicker texture and I think these will hold up over time and I like that my cards aren't slipping and sliding around I will use these a bit more I will get back by the market watch where I shout this out again and say how I feel about longevity thank ritual thanks for sending all this in uh, the giveaway will be on that market watch and I think this is a company that is really trying to go in different directions than anyone else. This material isn't copy-paste of anyone's that I have felt so far. I like where they're headed with it. And I think they're genuinely going in that kind of different set of mind that sets them apart. But 
It also is a little bit more expensive than some other accessory brands out there. So with that premium feel and quality so far that I can tell, they are charging that little bit extra. Again, shout outs and thanks for watching as I slowly slide the back here to end the video. But it's great having the tabletop set up and it's pretty darn fun to be able to look at things like this and talk about accessory brands that aren't as necessarily as known out there. But I will say, actually, I had a friend come over that brought them up immediately when talking about everybody doing new things. So they are on people's radars and they are out there ground and pound into retail, which is also pretty neat. Thanks for watching, everybody.